God gave us the gift of music that we might pray without words. It does an amazing thing pairing God's word with music. When you can bring the meaning of the gospel and the meaning of God's love for us to a whole new level of expression beyond the words. Music, it's an incredible way of sharing the gospel. It's inspiring to see all these kids doing all these amazing pieces. So I think there is just something that draws you, that draws you to the prep music program. I think that Luther Prep does everything in a very excellent way, and we've seen that firsthand. A space dedicated to music and the arts and to promote excellence in worship, I mean, that's... I think it's essential. That's ne it's I mean, necessary. It's... We're known for our choirs and our drama and our band and keyboard studies, and then when they come here, they see that we don't have any dedicated building to that. We want to show excellence in all our programs and not having a home for each of these programs or inadequate homes just doesn't fit the purpose. It's not a want, it's a need. It's not like there are separate rooms for anything. This is a multi-purpose band room, musical room. This is where we have chorus. Sometimes we have prep singers in here. It's just funny to think that, you know, we were just in here the other day for class and now we're in here, you know, changing for, we're like, why don't we have like a, you know, a changing room or something like that? Like you think you would have, but yeah, it's definitely got its limitations for sure. What I think I remember the most is the times that I've been a spectator and I can't see. So one of the things that I think is most dated is, is us sitting all at the same level and watching something. When I go to other area Lutheran high schools that have theater type seating and I can experience a worship concert or a worship service or a musical concert in those, it's really the right venue and the right setup to be able to make the most out of what they're doing up on that stage. We spent a great deal of time and resources investing in our program. We have all of our students go to music class twice a week. And th this is a game changer. That's probably the biggest thing that sets us apart. What would the notes be? They would be C, E, and G. We're training our possible future pastors and teachers. This is gonna be part of their work. We want them to have that background. They're blessed to have it here even if they don't become pastors or teachers, they're gonna still be leaders. I think there's something special about music in our church body as a whole. I mean, I just think it's, it's an important part of our worship. It's just a huge thing. So it makes sense that it would be emphasized here at Luther Prep. And the amount of musical training that they get expressly for the worship life of the church has been clearly communicated. The need is, is far greater. From my position, I would take five musicians tomorrow if I could. I would take five vocalists tomorrow if, if I could. So the impact that that has through not only pastors and teachers, but also future called workers who serve in any ways is really massive. There are a lot of ways that we can spend our money. There's nothing more important than using the gifts that God has given us directly to further and advance His mission. This is one of those high quality options and a way that you can support the ministry. You know, Wells members and people that support Luther Prep to be willing to give up that much money to support our music program, I'll just mean so much and I would be like, eternally thankful for that because it would be such a great investment for years to come. I think the deepest impact is the connection that you can make with the Word of God through music. So there's one thing to hear it, to read it. It's a whole other thing when we put music and, and feel and vibe and just the way you can praise, the way you can mourn, the, the, all the different ways that you can connect through music that are meaningful and tie us straight to the Word of God. You might not be able to play football your whole life or play basketball your whole life, but you can use music forever. And on your deathbed, you can hear those hymns and you can hear those songs, and that's what matters. <laughs>